To do this, knit your peg, take that loop off the peg and move it to the next one, pull the yarn and knit off. Go to the next peg and do the same thing. Knit peg one. Take that loop off of peg one and move it to peg two. Pull the yarn to tighten, knit off, and leave that loop on peg two. You're just gonna move to the next peg and start all over again. If you're doing it correctly, you're gonna end up with a loop on every other peg. To close the hat, you're gonna take your working yarn around the loom until you've gone a little bit over and then cut your yarn. I used my hook to feed the yarn through, uh, to feed the working yarn through the loops. Where there's no loop, I took the working yarn behind the peg. You can do this with your hook or with your needle, whatever's easier. Just go around the whole loom. When you get to the front, you will notice that there are two loops consecutively. Um, that's just because the loom is an odd number, no biggie. Now take the loops off the pegs. Pull on the string just a little bit and then um, put the hat inside out. Pull the, feed the string through to the other side and pull on it a little bit more. And now here's where you get your needle and we're going to um, sew it. And it's probably a good idea to cut your string a little bit more than I did to make it easier. But anyway, we're going to then uh, sew this in a circular manner. Make a knot and cut off the excess yarn. Okay, now all you have to do is turn your hat around. You'll notice that the top looks pretty good. You're all done.